Many split systems use the latest heat pump technology to provide both heating and cooling for your home. The most common type of mini split system is called a ductless mini split. Installing these systems is complicated, so the work should always be completed by a licensed HVAC technician. Now, utilizing some of the past installations on this old house and as this old house, we're gonna share with you some of the proper steps. The first step is to identify the best location for the interior air handler. Generally, the unit should always be at least six feet off the ground, and the installation instructions will specify the clearance from the top of the unit to the ceiling and from the sidewall. You don't need to locate the unit on an exterior wall, but you will need a clear path for the refrigerant lines, wires, and condensate drain to run from the interior unit to the outside. Position the mounting bracket on the wall, making sure that it's perfectly level. This will ensure that the unit drains properly. Mark the locations for the fasteners that'll secure the bracket to the wall. On a wood frame wall, make sure the fasteners go into the studs. On a concrete wall, use appropriate concrete screws or anchors. Use a hole saw to drill the two inch or three inch hole for the tubing and lines based on the manufacturer's instruction. Run the refrigerant line sets, drain tubing and control wires through the hole and hang the indoor unit on the bracket. PVC should be used to extend the condensate drain line and copper tubing properly sized should be used to extend the refrigerant line sets. The refrigerant line sets should be insulated separately from each other using foam insulation. Now it's time to install the outdoor condensing unit and they can be installed just about anywhere on the ground, on a flat roof or mounted to an exterior wall. No matter where it gets installed, it needs to be secured. If it's on the ground, it should have a proper base, often concrete. And they even make a special bracket to hang the condenser to an exterior wall. The control wire needs to be connected to the indoor unit. This will allow the indoor unit to tell the outdoor unit when to start and stop. The wires and refrigerant line sets should be attached to the exterior wall to keep them securely in place. Covers are also available for a neater appearance. Oh, I like that. Once the indoor and outdoor units have been connected, pressure tested, evacuated, and then filled with refrigerant, a licensed electrician will run power to the unit. Ductless mini splits are small but powerful. They provide efficient heating and cooling in many different locations, and they usually can be installed in just one day.